interesting facts about famous people. The best cattle drive and rancher, Westerns. We're hitting the trail today. Time to drive the herd overland. Head them up, move them out. Cowboys have been driving cattle and horses for as long as the West was being settled. A tradition that has not gone unnoticed by the Western genre movie industry. There's just something about life in the Wild West that people can't get enough of. I have a selection of the best livestock drive and rancher movies that fans of the Old West will enjoy. These classics capture what life was like on the open range, showcasing the challenges that come along with life as a cattle rancher. So here are some of the best movies about cattle drives and ranching life. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Let's get into it. Open Range, 2003. A Western directed by Kevin Costner, based on the 1990 novel The Open Range Men. This movie beautifully shows the challenges cowboys and settlers faced in the Wild West, centered around a former soldier, now cattleman, named Boss Spearman. Spearman and his cowboys face off with an aggressive land baron while moving cattle overland. Throughout the movie, there is violence between the townspeople and the open rangers, while the two sides are navigating the Wild West the best they can. Gunfights, action, drama, love, and stunning cinematography. A great modern western that has deep roots in the western genre. Originally, Touchstone Pictures had Kevin Costner top build over Robert Duvall, but Costner asked the studio to top build Duvall instead. Robert Duvall got bucked off his horse and broke six ribs while practicing his riding for this role. Lonesome Dove, a miniseries that aired from 1989 to 1990, an instant hit that spawned many sequels. A must watch for Western fans. Ex Texas Rangers Woodrow Call, Augustus McRae, led the Hat Creek outfit on a grand adventure. They head out from Texas to Montana on a difficult cattle drive. The series focuses on friendship, Western values, and the fading tradition of cowboy life. Based on a novel of the same name, Lonesome Dove became a classic, loved by critics and audiences, going on to win seven Emmy Awards and give new life to old westerns. Tommy Lee Jones owns a ranch in Texas and breeds horses and cattle. He refused to use a stunt double for any of his riding scenes. Originally, Tommy Lee Jones was to play Gus and Robert Duvall was to play Captain Call. After Duvall read the book, he wanted to play Gus and the roles were switched. City Slickers, 1991. Looking for a good laugh? City Slickers is for you. This funny modern western gives a fresh view to the western genre. With a 40th birthday just around the corner, Mitch Robbins is unhappy with his life in New York. His friends, Ed Ferrillo and Phil Berquist, are looking to give Robbins a new look at life by gifting him a unique experience. The friends undertake a two week long cattle drive from New Mexico to Colorado. Friendship, mishaps and humour, both inspiring and hilarious. This film is a fun take on the traditional, more serious genre of rancher movies. Also has a sequel, look it up, The Legend of Curly's Gold. As a rule, Jack Palance did not watch his own movies, thus he did not see this movie until after he won the Oscar for it. Red River, starring John Wayne. Red River came out in 1948 and has become a Western classic, receiving such great adulation that it was selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. The film is about a headstrong cowboy, Thomas Dunson, who has a successful cattle ranch in Texas. In search of money after the Civil War, Dunson and his crew lead a cattle drive from Texas to Missouri. Along the drive, the cowboys face all kinds of challenges, including stampedes, gunfights, and attack. If you're a fan of old classic westerns, Red River is a must-see, with great characters, action-packed, and drama. This cattle drive movie will leave an impression. Howard Hawks shot the beginning of the cattle drive in close-ups of each of the principal cowhands, because he felt tight shots would be needed to help the audience keep all the characters straight in their minds. Film debut of Montgomery Clift. Note. 
This film was shelved for two years, so the first film the public saw of Clift was The Search, 1948, for which he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor. Uh, hey, that's good too. Come on, keep it going. <laughs> The Cowboys, 1972, a thrilling depiction of the life of the Wild West, a John Wayne classic that became a favourite among many. After his crew leave him in search of gold, rancher Will Anderson is left in a difficult situation, needing to start his cattle drive, forces him to hire inexperienced local schoolboys to get the job done. When Anderson finally gets the drive underway, he soon faces a new challenge as the sly bandit Long Hair seeks to take his cattle. The Cattle Rancher Western is a coming of age story, showcasing the hardships ranchers face in their line of work. John Wayne actually pleaded with director Mark Rydell to allow him to play Will Anderson. Several of the boy's parents are played by their real life parents. Film debut of Robert Carradine. Australia, 2008, directed by Baz Luhrmann, stars Nicole Kidman and Hugh Jackman in an epic tale of romance and action. In the weeks before the start of World War II, an English aristocrat inherits a sprawling cattle ranch in Australia. Reluctantly, she forms a pact with a rugged local and the pair set out on a cattle drive to save her ranch. Travelling across hundreds of miles, romance blossoms as the war begins around the world. Powerful and beautiful. The movie has love, action and stunning cinematography. It features the challenges of the Australian outback and the struggles of life as the world is engaged in war. Over 1500 wild horses were used for this movie. Four different horses play the drover's horse. Nicole Kidman saved Hugh Jackman from a poisonous scorpion on the set. When she was about to join Hugh in the bag, she noticed a poisonous scorpion crawling up his leg. Kidman has said that shooting this film was the favourite experience of her career. The Culpepper Cattle Company, 1972. Not as well known as other cattle drive and rancher movies, the Culpepper Cattle Co. is a nod to the Old West, highly praised for its attention to detail and period atmosphere. Ben Mockridge, a young boy, has a dream to become a cowboy. Frank Culpepper reluctantly agrees that Mockridge can join his cattle drive. As Mockridge starts the cattle drive, he comes face to face with dangers and challenges that come with ranch life, an action-packed movie featuring action, drama, gunfights and in-depth look at the struggles of life on the open range. There are blurry distinctions between the good and bad guys, as life in the West was often lawless. Directorial debut of Dick Richards, first producing credit by veteran producer Jerry Bruckheimer. The theme melody by Jerry Goldsmith is the same as another film scored by Goldsmith, The Flim Flam Man, 1967, as there was a composer's strike at the time. Goldsmith's music was used as stock. The Power of the Dog, 2021. Based on Thomas Savage's 1967 novel of the same name, starring Benedict Cumberbatch, Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons, all of whom received Academy Award nominations for their roles. Rancher, Phil Burback, is a charismatic rancher who instills awe and fear in those around him. After his brother brings home a new wife and child, Burback's response is to torment them. Things begin to change as he finds himself exploring the possibility of love. The Power of the Dog explores various emotions, including love, resentment, grief and jealousy. With beautiful cinematography, this award-winning movie is a new take on the traditional Western. Kirsten Dunst and Benedict Cumberbatch were so into their characters that they did not speak to each other during filming. Jesse Plemons and Kirsten Dunst are a couple off screen and have two sons together. Benedict Cumberbatch learned how to play the banjo for the film. The Man from Snowy River, 
1982, a beloved film among many equestrians, based on the poem with the same namesake. The 1982 film was an instant classic. After the accidental death of his father, young Jim Craig sets out to become his own man. Upon taking a job with a horse rancher, Craig is treated poorly by the more experienced cowboys. However, he manages to prove his worth and win over the hearts of the rancher's daughter as he helps her break a colt. The Man from Snowy River is a wonderful blend of romance, action and drama. The movie features incredible shots including the iconic scene where Craig chases a herd of wild brumbies down a cliff. Tom Berlinson performed all his own horse riding stunts in the film. Bert Lancaster and Robert Mitchum were also considered for the dual role played by Kirk Douglas. Broken Trail, 2006, a miniseries, gathered a large fan base, emotional and powerful, with a twist on the traditional classic cowboy westerns. In the two-part series, what started as a journey to sell 500 horses took a change in direction. A cowboy and his nephew save five Chinese girls from a life of prostitution while travelling from Oregon to Wyoming. After saving the women from a tragic fate, they must protect them from bandits while embarking across the frontier. A must-watch for any Western fan. With compelling characters and beautiful scenery, Broken Trail will not disappoint. Writer Alan Jeffreyon drew on the true-life stories of Nebraska rancher Waldo Haythorn, a friend of Duval's, whose grandfather, at the turn of the century, took a herd of 700 horses to South Dakota, and of Donaldina Cameron, a San Franciscan woman who saved over 3,000 Chinese girls from prostitution during that time. In Pursuit of Honor, 1995, not your typical Western, a compelling film, a hidden gem that is both inspirational and emotional. As the US Army began to modernize in 1932, the need for a cavalry lessened. One colonel demanded the destruction of 500 horses as the army no longer needs them. However, some brave cavalrymen defy orders, stepping up to save the beautiful horses from a horrible fate. Suspenseful and gripping, in pursuit of honor, will keep you on the edge of your seat. It is a riveting addition to the Western genre that will touch the hearts of horse lovers everywhere. The names of the sergeants are the same as those used for the sergeants in Fort Apache 1948, but spelled differently. Some of the names were also used in other John Ford films. One of the sergeants in this film was named Quinlan. There is no sergeant named Quinlan in any John Ford film, but Ford did use the name Quinn Cannon in several of his military themed films. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes and subscribers. Hit the notification bell to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel. The link is in the description. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.